Now we're going to take a little bit of time to explain how to save and recall settings on your mixer. This is one of the really cool things about having a digital mixer. You can uh, save settings for individual channels, you can recall, you can load presets, and uh, you can save settings for your entire mixer and uh, recall them at any time you want. So I'm just going to show you a brief overview of how to do that, and uh, let's get going. Alright, one of the first things I'm going to show you how to do in loading and saving presets is loading a preset for a particular channel. Where we're going to do that is say on channel 8 I plug in a saxophone and I have never mixed a saxophone before so I want to see a good place to start with my settings. I don't know what to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit select on the channel that I want to load a setting for and then up here on the channel section I'm going to hit load and up here on the screen I see it says channel preset and it says memory keyboard piano warm so and it's saying to load to channel strip 8 that was the one I selected so I said we had a saxophone so I'm going to turn through here let's see I'm going the wrong way drums, bass, guitar saxophone so there's a preset in this mixer for a saxophone and it says push recall. When I press recall, I'm going to back up here so you can see the all the settings on the fat channel here. Press recall and you saw they all changed. What it did is it loaded up presets that somebody, some dude in some studio somewhere um, working for Personas came up with some presets that he thought sounded pretty good on a saxophone. Now these presets are never going to be perfect. Um, you're gonna, uh, as you learn more about mixing, get more comfortable mixing, you're gonna wanna make adjustments to these. This is a great place to start, uh, not only for somebody who's a novice, just learning how to mix, but also even an um, expert that just wants to have a place to start from when he's uh, setting up settings for a channel. So that's pretty easy. You just hit select on the channel you wanna load up a setting for, hit load, and then select what you wanna load to it and hit the recall button and that's as easy as it is for for loading something now say you loaded up a preset or um, say somebody has a, a particular guitar that has a very particular sound and you have made your own adjustments special adjustments for that guitar and it's not any of the presets that are already on the board but you want to save that so that um, maybe that person isn't there on a regular basis and maybe you just want to have that when he does come but you're not going to leave it programmed onto that channel all the time but you want to be able to recall it anytime you want. So that particular custom setting you did, you're going to come down with that channel selected and you're going to hit save and you're going to come up here and you're going to turn until we get out of these presets that are already named in here and we're going to look for an empty location. I usually go to the first empty location that I find and um, tap space and push store. So if I push store it's going to save it. So what I'm going to do is press the next button. It brings me down to this name. and I can name this whatever I want. I'll just name it Name it Drawer. Actually, I'll name it Jen because uh, that's, that's quicker to do. And then tap space if you want to add. Some, whoops. Alright, let's tap next here. And then space if you want to tap tap if you want to add a space. So I have a preset named Jen, and I'm going to press store. And the mixer just saved that preset in there. So now I can come back to any channel here I wanted. Um, let's pick another open channel, it doesn't have nothing on it here. Um, I could come to channel 13 and say, I want to load a preset for channel 13. And I could come in here and I can go and I can find Jen. And I can hit recall. And it's going to load up all those custom settings we did. So you can save um, all kinds of, uh, of individual channel settings in here. You have 99 preset locations in here. 
50 of those are taken up by presets that Personas already put in the board. You can overwrite those if you want to, but I suggest leaving them in there and then just adding more in the empty locations. Um, so that's how you save individual channels. Now something else that's cool is, say I've set up a wireless mic with the settings that I want to sound good for that wireless mic. And let's say I've got a second wireless mic that's the same exact mic. And rather than doing all the settings manually, an easy way to do this is selecting the channel that I already have the settings the way I want them, hit copy, and then the channel I want to paste those settings to, copy them over to, I'm going to hit that blinking light, now it stays solid, and go up and hit load. Now it copied all the settings from that channel, and it pasted them onto channel 6, so I have the same settings now on both of those channels. Now, when I hit copy, I can select as many channels as I want to load those settings to. Um, all the ones that are solid here, if I hit load, it's going to load up all those settings to those channels. But I don't want to copy any more of those. So that's how you copy and paste an individual channel. Now um, I want to show you how to save an entire mixer setting. Um, that's called a scene setting. So um, we're going to come up here to the board and we're going to hit scene. And, and so I have a few different scenes in here already. Got worship acoustic, worship two, these are for different worship bands we have. This is a uh, outreach team we did. Um, and so I have different scenes saved in there. Now, if I want to save a new scene, say I have, say we have a prayer meeting service or something, and I have a particular mix set up with a particular band that comes in. So, say instead of vocals here, I've got you know a, a violin and a harmonica and whatever. So, I have special settings for that service. I can come up and select an empty location and hit store. And I can name this. And let's name it Worship 3. Four, and that's okay. And so I hit store. Now I've saved all the settings of this board. Um, you can see on here there's certain things that says recalling. So when I recall this scene, I can tell it if I want if I want it to recall everything about that scene or just certain things. So uh, Mute is on yes, so it's going to recall any buttons that I, any channels that I have muted. Um, effects, it's going to recall my digital effects settings. Assigns, we'll talk about that. EQ and dynamics, aux mixes, faders, no. If I put faders on yes, um, that's going to allow us to pull up this fader locate button. So let's see here, I'm going to put it on yes. And I'm going to put all of my faders down, and I'm going to press recall. Now on this, on the meter section, if I have it on faders, I told it I wanted to recall fader positioning. So you look here on the meters and you'll see some of these bars have, are below the midpoint and some of them are right at the midpoint. What that's telling me is that I need to turn up the fader for that channel to reach the point where it was when the mixer was saved. So if once you get it to where that channel was when you saved that scene, there'll just be one bar there. If it's if the if the fader is higher than it was when you saved, it's going to show bars above the middle. If it's lower, it's going to show bars below. But when you get it right on where it's one bar, that's exactly where you had it when you saved that mixer scene. So that is how you save and recall entire mixer scenes, and that's really handy for multiple services, different groups that may be mixing, uh, the youth group can use it, main church can use it, and nobody's arguing over uh, people changing settings on their uh, services settings. Pretty cool.